RC cars. They're fast, aggressive, and engineered to dominate any terrain. Whether it's ripping through dirt trails, drifting around corners, or launching off ramps, these miniature machines are designed for maximum performance and durability. But behind their high-speed thrills lies an incredible world of engineering, design, and precision manufacturing. For decades, RC cars have evolved from basic wired toys to high-speed off-road beasts and race-ready machines built for serious enthusiasts. Brands have continuously pushed the limits, creating lightweight yet durable chassis, high-torque brushless motors, and advanced suspension systems that allow these cars to reach speeds of 100 plus miles per hour. The technology behind them has never been more advanced, blending precision engineering with cutting-edge materials to deliver unmatched speed, power, and control. Today, we're taking a deep dive from design and prototyping to assembly and final testing to see exactly how RC cars are built for action. Remote-controlled vehicles weren't invented for fun, they were built for warfare. The earliest radio-controlled machines appeared in the early 20th century, with military applications taking priority. During World War II, Germany experimented with radio-controlled tanks and explosive boats designed to strike targets remotely. These machines were built for destruction, not entertainment. But as technology advanced, manufacturers saw a different kind of potential in remote-controlled vehicles. By the 1960s, the first commercially available RC car hit the market. An Italian company, Electronica Geocatoli, developed a 1-12 scale Ferrari 250 LM. Compared to today's standards, it was primitive, but it sparked something big. The idea that RC cars could be more than just a novelty. The 1970s and 80s saw an explosion in RC car popularity, particularly in the United States and Japan. Companies like Tamiya, Kyosho, and Associated Electrics pushed the boundaries, introducing faster motors, rechargeable batteries, and custom kits that transformed the hobby into a competitive sport. Tracks, clubs, and RC racing leagues emerged, turning what started as a niche hobby into a thriving industry. Fast forward to today, and RC cars are more advanced than ever. From brushless motors capable of 100 plus mile per hour speeds to aerospace grade materials and precision suspension, modern RC cars can rip through dirt, drift like a pro, and launch off jumps. What started as a military experiment has evolved into a global obsession with cutting edge engineering making today's RC cars faster, tougher, and more capable than ever. Step 1. Designing from concept to reality Every RC car starts with digital engineering, where designers use CAD software to create detailed blueprints of every component. In high-end racing models, engineers even run airflow simulations and weight distribution tests to ensure stability at high speeds before anything is physically built. Once the digital design is finalized, the next step is prototyping. Many manufacturers use 3D printing to create early test models, which are put through rigorous testing for balance, handling, and durability. If an issue arises where the car lacks grip, feels too heavy in corners, or struggles on rough terrain, it goes back for adjustments. Only after flawless performance is achieved does the design move on to mass production. Over the years, some brands have mastered the craft turning RC cars from simple toys into high-performance machines. Tamiya, known for its legendary build-it-yourself kits, introduced many hobbyists to RC cars in the 80s and 90s. Their models focus on scale accuracy, detailed bodywork, and full customization, making them a favorite for both racers and collectors. Traxxas. When it comes to pure speed and durability, Traxxas dominates. Their ready-to-run models are designed for blistering acceleration, 
with some breaking 100 miles per hour straight out of the box. Built to handle everything from street racing to off-road bashing, their cars set the standard for performance. Arma RC cars are some of the toughest in the industry, built for extreme off-road action. Their reinforced chassis, heavy-duty suspension, and rugged builds allow them to survive massive jumps, crashes, and brutal terrain. Team Associated, a dominant name in RC racing, prioritizes low weight, sharp handling, and high-speed cornering, making their cars a top choice for competitive drivers. Losi creates high-performance models, balancing on-road precision and off-road power with brushless motors, advanced shock absorbers, and realistic body designs. Their engineering makes them stand out in both racing and bashing categories. These brands have shaped the RC industry, proving that great design isn't just about looks, it's about performance, durability, and innovation. But even the best design means nothing without the right components to bring it to life. Step 2. Building the Chassis With the design finalized, the chassis is the first major component to be manufactured. Acting as the car's structural backbone, it holds everything together, from the motor and battery to the wheels and suspension. Most entry-level RC cars use plastic chassis, which are lightweight, cost-effective, and flexible enough to absorb impacts. However, high-performance models opt for aluminum or carbon fiber chassis, offering greater strength, rigidity, and improved handling, essential for high-speed racing and off-road durability. The manufacturing process depends on the material used. Plastic chassis are created using injection molding, where molten plastic is injected into a metal mold, rapidly cooled, and formed into the final shape. Metal and carbon fiber chassis are crafted through CNC machining, where a computer-controlled milling machine carves out the precise structure from a solid aluminum block or carbon fiber sheet. Once the chassis is built, it's time to add real power, the motor and electronics that bring the RC car to life. Step 3. Installing the motor and electronics The motor is the heart of an RC car dictating its speed, acceleration, and overall performance. There are two main types. Brushed motors. The older, simpler design, while easy to maintain and budget-friendly, they wear out faster due to friction from internal brushes. Brushless motors, the gold standard for performance. These motors are faster, more efficient, and longer-lasting, making them the only choice for serious racers and high-speed enthusiasts. To power the motor, RC cars require a serious battery setup and not just your average double A's from the store. The two main options are nickel metal hydride batteries, which are affordable but heavy with less power output, and lithium polymer batteries, which are much lighter and pack more power, allowing RC cars to hit higher speeds with extended run times. To regulate power, a small but critical component is installed the Electronic Speed Controller, ESC. Acting as the car's throttle system, the ESC controls acceleration and power delivery to the motor. A high-quality ESC results in smoother handling, better responsiveness, and faster speeds. With the power system locked in, the RC car is nearly race-ready. But raw speed means nothing if you can't turn on a dime and hug the track. That's where the steering system comes into play. Step 4. Steering and Suspension If you've ever driven a cheap RC car, you know the struggle. Some feel like they're skating on ice, others are too stiff, and some just don't respond fast enough. That's where steering and suspension systems make all the difference. The steering system is powered by a servo motor, a small but powerful device that moves the wheels left and right. High-performance RC cars use high-torque metal gear servos, which are faster, more durable, and highly responsive. These servo housings are typically injection-molded plastic, while the internal gears are made from CNC machined metal to ensure long-lasting durability and precision control. Then comes the suspension, one of the most critical components of an RC car. A stiff suspension makes the car bounce uncontrollably, while a soft suspension can make it feel sluggish and unstable. To strike the perfect balance, Top-tier RC cars use oil-filled shocks, similar to real sports cars. 
The shock bodies are CNC machined aluminum, giving them strength and heat resistance, while small rubber seals inside prevent leaks. Each shock is filled with silicone-based oil, which absorbs impact and smooths out handling on pavement, dirt tracks, and rocky terrain. Step 5. Body Design and Painting – The Finishing Touches Now that the RC car has power and control, it's time to give it a signature look. The body of an RC car is typically made from lightweight, impact-resistant polycarbonate plastic, designed to withstand crashes while keeping weight to a minimum. Manufacturers begin by creating precision-engineered molds, then use vacuum forming or heat shaping to mold the plastic into the desired car shape. Once the body is formed, it moves to the painting and detailing stage. Some RC cars come pre-painted with factory graphics, while others are left for customization. Enthusiasts often use airbrushing, custom decals, and hydro-dipping techniques to create one-of-a-kind designs. From replicating real race cars to crafting unique, high art paint jobs. Once the paint is cured and sealed, the body shell is attached to the chassis, completing the transformation from a collection of parts into a fully functional RC speed machine. Step 6 Testing and Quality Control Built to Perform. Before an RC car is ready for store shelves or the track, it goes through rigorous testing to ensure speed, durability, and handling meet factory standards. Engineers run a series of performance tests, checking acceleration, steering response, and suspension behavior under real-world conditions. High-end manufacturers even conduct stress tests, launching cars off ramps, pushing them to high-speed impacts, and running them through off-road simulations. Only after passing every performance and durability test do RC cars make their way to hobby shops, online stores, and racetracks around the world. And that's how RC cars are made. From precision design to high-performance engineering, each step is crucial in creating the ultimate racing experience. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more behind-the-scenes looks at how the world's coolest products are made.